Welcome to this QuickBooks 2019 tutorial for beginners on how to use your accounts receivable aging report. Now, this report is really, really crucial when you're in business or even if you work for a business to track how much your customers owe you. Now, I'm going to show you an example in this example company file of this accounts receivable aging report. And then I want to show you how to look at it and how to use it in a business. All right. So first of all, we're going to go to uh, reports. We're going to go down to customers and receivables. You're going to see an option here that says AR aging summary. AR stands for accounts receivable. And you've got some other options here, but in this video, we're going to look at this AR aging summary. All right, so we pull this up. All right, now we're going to see here, we've got a listing of all of our customers and we have all of the various jobs. Now to make this a little more readable, you can click on collapse and it's gonna show you here are the totals for each of these customers. And if you need to expand it out to take a look at uh, the different jobs that you have for this customer, you can click the arrow, it'll expand it out and you can always click it again and it'll collapse it. All right, so there's an important thing I want you to notice here. You've got some columns that say current one to 30, 31 to 60, 61 to 90 and greater than 90. Now these represent how old these invoices are that these customers owe you. And this is really important because you need to look at this at least on a monthly basis to make sure that your customers are paying you on time and you're collecting the money they owe you. Now, it can be a little bit confusing when you look at these columns and I wanna show you in your preferences how to change this layout. All right, so what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna go up to edit, I'm gonna go down to preferences and you'll see here, if you go to the reports and graphs section and go to company preferences, aging reports, you can age it from the due date or age from the transaction date. Right now it says age from due date. All right. So what that means is in this report, if the due date is 30 days into the future, Let's say that, you, and this is when you give your customers this ter these terms, you say, hey, your invoice is due in 30 days. It will put it in the current column. So that means that if it's in day 20 of 30 days, it'll be in this current column. Now, the minute it gets to 31 days, it will show up in this column. And then when it gets to 61 days, it'll show up in this column. So that can be a little bit confusing when you look at this and you say, you know what, it's only one to 30 days old, so it's not past due, when in reality it is past due. All right, so let's go back over to edit preferences, go to reports and graphs, company preferences, let's say age from transaction date, and we hit okay. Okay, so now you'll see this report changed. Okay, so from the transaction date, we have uh, current ones, then we have one to 30. So some of these moved because they are actually past due according to your terms. Now, this is the way I recommend looking at this because it makes it a lot easier to, to review and to look at and to understand which customers owe you money, which ones are past due. So a good practice to get into is as part of your month end close process is take a look at this report and then you consistently follow up with the customers who owe you money. You wanna make sure you stay on top of this uh, because oftentimes customers don't receive invoices. Maybe they forget about them. If you're emailing invoices, sometimes it's really easy for a customer to miss that, uh, that email. And so you wanna make sure that you are following up consistently with your customers to make sure they are paying you on time Otherwise, it's gonna really slow down how much money you're collecting, okay? So this is a brief overview of the Accounts Receivable Aging Summary. Very, very important report to keep tabs on. If you have any questions, uh, feel free to leave a comment below this video and head over to the QuickBooks University where I not only teach you about how to use QuickBooks, but also a lot of uh, business advice and uh, how to succeed in small business. Head over there now qbuniversity.org.